Summer School's really here to give the entities some core skills to help support them in both their research projects and in, and in their workplace, in their, in their industrial placements. And the reason that we've, we've designed the Summer School in the way that, it, that we have is based on the needs that they've expressed over the last five or six years of having, of having uh, the centre here in Bristol. So in broad terms, the, the, the summer school this year has taken uh, is a five-day uh, process. Uh, on day one, we were exploring qualitative interviewing skills um, and building up a better understanding of emotional intelligence because um, certain research programs are identifying that for systems engineers, that's a, that's a really key area to explore. Uh, day two, we were looking at, at personal effectiveness and trying to provide some real foundations for, t for better time management, better a more effective engagement with and through other people. Day three, we developed uh, a follower-based view of leadership and started to explore personal feedback based on a 360 instrument uh, to, un to, to help understand and develop leadership skills. And that was coupled to some outdoor activities that we did in the afternoon. And then on uh, days uh, four, four and five, we uh, have been looking at uh, creative problem solving and the, f and the facilitative leadership skill base so that the, the entities are more effective working with and through groups and navigating more complex problems and have a framework for doing that, a toolkit to, so to help them with that um, and also to uh, enable more of an effective dialogue uh, with other people. I've decided to come on this, um, this summer school uh, because I'd like to learn the transferable skills that are on offer. They, I think, will help me with the research that I'm trying to do with my, my research project for, the, for my MRES. And um, so I think the, the, you know, the skills that I learn here will be of great benefit for that. I'm working alongside Adrian Terry uh, to facilitate a whole week that's very much about skills that underpin the research that they're doing. But it's taking it beyond only the research that they're doing on their doctorate and helping to underpin the skills they need for being leaders in industry. Today is very much more on the research skills side, so they've all attended a module, a taught module, as part of their doctorate, in which they've learned about research methods on more on the theoretical conceptual side, so understanding uh, the type of research they're conducting and the kinds of methods that they would want to choose. This is about taking that a step further and equipping them with the skills in order to conduct, to, to carry out that kind of research. In particularly they're fine-tuning their interviewing skills, so many of them alongside their, the technical topic that they're doing for their engineering doctorate, a lot of them need to conduct interviews with people, whether fairly informally or formally, for data collection. They need to have conversations with other, with, with sort of one other, one-to-one -one conversations in which they need to draw information out. So what we've been doing is we've been um, equipping them with a lot more understanding of the types of questions they can ask and the kinds of responses they're likely to elicit from those questions. And what they're now doing is they're putting some of that into practice with each other. Basically what we've done is we've, 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 we've explored quite extensively what the needs are for the NGD community and we've created out of a variety of different programmes a very bespoke kind of view of the skill base that, that, that they need to be successful. So that when they're, uh, for example, if they're exploring in their research projects um, and working with groups to help uh, define questions or to provide data and information or focus group work, that they've got the skills to do that really, really well. We're using uh, quite a wide combination of of um, approaches to help people to, to help support people's learning. It's not it's not so much instructor led. It's very it's very much more experiential. So we're exposing we're exposing the entities to particular models or or ideas and then helping them to explore it. Some of them more or less structured. Um, a lot of that's group working, working with and through others, gaining feedback from each other on their performance exploring as we've been doing today some of the, the the different ways to use the same tool and some of the costs and consequences of of, of those tool of those choices we've been looking at um, some of the outdoor activities we've looked at we've looked at visual learning we've looked at kinesthetic learning we've 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 uh, accommodated for auditory so we're trying to create a fun learning environment where it is very much peer-to-peer -peer and it's not it's not instructor-led